Thank you, Madam Vice President. This is a joint statement with Geneva International Center for Justice. We thank the Special Advisor for his ongoing efforts in raising awareness on genocide and in preventing this crime. It has been said that significant progress has been made in the prevention and punishment of genocide, but recent events have shown that we still have a long road ahead of us. The current situation in Iraq is a clear example. It was described as rapidly plummeting towards genocide. Since the U.S. invasion of Iraq in 2003, attacks based on sectarianism have become major elements in the country's politics. This tense situation escalated at the turn of the year 2013-2014 with a military operation undertaken by the government in the province of al Anbar under the pretext of combating terrorists. Mr. Special Advisor, an important element of the prevention of genocide is the identification of the w early warning signs of this crime. Signs have shown for long enough now that the Iraqi forces are targeting a certain religious group. The authority promotes domination over the government by those affiliated to its own religious beliefs while treating the opposition with utmost hostility and brutality. It has become obvious that the onslaught against supposed terrorists is a cover for the annihilation of the group opposed to the increasingly discriminating policies of the current authorities in Iraq. The acts of the government find their roots in official speeches which are, which are filled with sectarian rhetoric. Such rhetoric clearly shows the intent to eradicate a certain group. This raises serious concerns as the situation fulfills the elements of the crime of genocide. We would like you, Mr. Special Advisor, to consider this alarming issue in your work. We also wonder why, in spite of these distressing events, the UN has not yet taken firm action to, le to relieve the plight of the victims of the Iraqi government's attacks. The UN must not wait for another Rwanda. In conclusion, we plead that the situation in Iraq be addressed immediately by, by the Council. In particular, we call on the Special Advisor to urgently take all adequate measures. I thank you for your attention.